Hey, Matt here, and welcome to another Mob Street video. Today, we're out here at Big Pine Sports in Fairview, and I'm here with Scatterdad. And as you can see, we've got my TW200 and a 2021 Yamaha XT250. This video is going to be a comparison. Why can't you find the TW, but yet there's two brand new XT250s in here on the floor? So stay tuned because we're going to go over it right now. Okay, in researching this on paper, this bike actually looks like it's a step above or maybe even like just a side step up a little bit over the TW200. So price wise, we're looking at $46.99 versus $51.99. Now for the $500, bucks, what's the real difference between the TW and the XT250. First off, let's start out with the obvious. First thing, XT250, a 250cc engine. Then you look at the TW, obviously, 200cc. Then you look at the fuel delivery. With the XT250, you're getting fuel injection. With the TW200, you've got the Makuni 28mm carb. Then if you're looking at the transmission, both actually have a five speed trans, but on the TW, your front sprocket is a 14, your rear is a 50, and on the XT250, you're sitting at a 15 tooth front and a 48 rear, which I think is gonna be better for a more road capable bike. As we look at suspension on the XT250, you're looking at 8.9 inches of travel on the front versus 6.3 inches of travel on the front of the TW. When you jump to the rear, you've got 7.1 inches for the XT and you've got 5.9 inches for the TW. So for tires on the XT, you're looking at a 2.75 by 21 on the front and you've got a 120 80 18 on the rear. And on the TW, you're looking at a 130 80 18 and a 180 80 14. Now some might say, well, whoop de doo, what's the big deal with that? Tire availability. For the TW200 is kind of one thing that a lot of people complain about. There aren't very many tire options that fit the TW200 rear. So, so tire availability for the XT, plain and simple, is just going to be better than what you're going to find for the TW. Ground clearance. You're looking at 11.2 inches on the XT250 versus 10.4 inches on the TW200. Seat height. Now this is something that I am actually pretty surprised about with the XT250 because in the 250 class, normally you're stepping up to a fairly tall seat height for the shorter riders. And the great thing about the XT250 is that you're sitting at 31.9 inches over the TW's 31.1 and that's one of the reasons that people absolutely love the TW is the lower seat height. So 0.8 inches taller on the XT really isn't going to be that much more than what you're going to find on the TW. Fuel capacity. On the XT250 you've got a 2.6 gallon tank whereas on the TW you're sitting at a 1.8 gallon. You're getting 76 miles a gallon which is surprising out of the XT250 over the 78 miles a gallon out of the carbureted TW200. The last thing that you're getting for that 500 bucks more than the TW is front and rear disc brakes. For 500 bucks, you get everything I just slated it off there for the XT250 over the TW200. Yeah, I like that. I don't know, man. Like, it's... It has a really good feel to it. Here's something that I found that was pretty cool. The back seat, like, so the TW gives you a little bit of room where if you wanted to get like the stock rack, you'd have a little bit of room there, you could. 
This one doesn't have as much room, and the seat on this one is a lot narrower profile than the TW. So if you're taking a passenger, that one actually might be a little bit more comfortable. But this one comes with some pretty sweet so grab bars. Hold. So, so if, you ever, if I ever jump on the back of Matthew, which ain't ever going to happen. I don't have to hold his waist. <laughs> I was looking around, and the cool thing is, Cycle Racks makes a rear rack for the XT250. Okay. So you can get that rack that I've got on the TW, and put it on the back of here, and next thing you know, you've got an extremely capable off-road machine. Yeah. I think for $500 more than what you're getting for the TW, if, you, if you're a beginner rider and you're looking for a good starter bike, if you are not sold on the TW, the XT, I think, is a really good option. Here's one thing I did notice, though. What? It doesn't have a skid plate. The TW comes with a monstrous skid plate that is completely indestructible. That's a lie. But there are spots you can put a skid plate on this. Which would be your first mod. <laughs> I would definitely say is one that you would want to have on there. These are available right now. But are they worth it? These are probably worth buying. What do you say we wrap this thing up so the xt versus the tw 200 which one should you get <laughs> that is entirely up to you because the xt 250 looks like it's an excellent machine but even with all that i still love my tw 200 i love the stance I love the fat tires, I love the low seat height, I love everything about my TW, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments down below, which would you choose, the TW200 or the Yamaha XT250? Both are excellent machines, but I'm a TW guy, so that's what I'm going to stick with. I hope you found this video informative. If there's questions, comments, Make sure to put those down below, and like always, I try to get back to those as soon as I can. We'll call her there. I'm Matt, this is Mob Street, and thanks for watching.